What are you drinking? What have you got? So, get comfortable. Here we are, it feels like forever. So, I don't know where you guys are at in life. I hope you're all really well, and uh, I hope you've, you've managed to get through whatever we have and are going through, and have found a nice, a nice balanced place. And Just in the last 48 hours, I've had a few messages from really good friends, and, and then actually some, um, People that I don't even know. <laughs> uh, and it, it feels like there's a, there's a bit of a, I'm not quite sure what, I mean, just in, in the messages that I'm receiving, that there's a little extra intensity in the air. And so I'm gonna do a few extra tea ceremonies just so we can sit have a point of focus and just be still for yourself, just be give yourself a moment, just settle recalibrate drop in, just if you're here for the whole time or just a few minutes, just, just give yourself this time. Like, often, often people are unaware that there's a, often people are unaware until that moment of like freak out or whatever it is happens. And so just these little moments like habit Touch your cup now, hold it, smell it, be present. The textures on your fingers, just be with them right now. Like one gym session isn't the, isn't the answer to fitness forever. It's this ongoing movement of the body, strengthening, practice, similar with this mindfulness stuff. It's just, just keep checking in, keep tuning in. How do I feel, okay? What do I feel now on my fingertips? I'm feeling the tea as I, also I'm aware that I can smell these leaves. It's a, it's a beautiful practice that, that's training my brain, it's training your brain, it's, Bring you back into the present moment, not being distracted by all that external. Just being here. And if you're sipping or drinking now, just really taste those tastes and sensations in the mouth. Such a great little connection, an easy way of digesting and understanding is that in, in a in a work, one workout, we, we don't solve years of, of non-fitness. Yeah, it's the, it's the step, it's, the, it's on the path, it's on, on the way back into greatest health. It's, it's supporting yourself in that moment. And it's so similar with mindfulness and the, the stilling of the mind, the calming of the nervous system, practicing, practicing, practicing. Feeling the bag, hearing the sounds of the bag, whatever it is that you're doing right there, you feel your feet on the floor, practicing being in this lovely little moment that you get to have. Then if you're pouring your kettle or 
just take a second. I'm going to go silent just for a minute or two whilst I do this next bit. Just really just be with whatever it is you're doing there. And then in that little moment there, just now reflect for a second without judgment, just on what came up. If you were able to stay present, if you were able to observe what you were doing, or if the mind was wandering off on a, into a world of its own, and none of it being right or wrong, just the fact that you can observe that the mind is wandering or has wandered if it does, that's it, that's the game, that's, oh yeah. My mind is wandering. That in itself is reflecting consciousness back upon itself. It's reflecting, oh yeah, the mind is doing what it's doing rather than it unconsciously just doing what it's doing. You're aware of it. And then now, whatever you're drinking, just take a moment to think about what it is. Like, what are you actually drinking? <laughs> is it coffee? Is it tea? Is it chaga? A type of tea? Green tea? A poor tea? And then, just thinking for a second through back to how it was grown and where it came from. Just using your mind to take yourself on that lovely little journey. Organically grown. This tea has an uplifting nature to it. It's a lovely little source of antioxidants as well. So as I drink it, I'm getting this lovely little cleaning effect within the physical body too. What have you got there? Where does your water come from? What is your water? Is it tap water? Is it bottled? Is it filtered? Just remembering without judgment of it, just paying attention to what you're doing rather than passively consuming, passively banging along through the day. Just a little moment. Here you are. And as silence arises, whether it's now or in a conversation with someone else or in a meeting or whenever it is, as silence arises, what do you notice about yourself? Where does your mind go? What does your head do? Does it try and speak and fill the silence and suddenly, ah, is it agitated? And that's not right or wrong. It's just the being able to observe that little moment. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, whatever with silence. This is my relationship with silence. This is my relationship with silence when I'm in the presence of another human. Just observing that, reflecting it, just noticing it. Like, if I'm doing something and I notice I've spilled something, unless I notice that I've spilled it, I can't mop it up. And I'll notice that I've spilled it, then either in the moment I'll mop it up or a little bit later. It's like I become aware of the, the mess, the spillage, whatever it is, and then the, the default action is I'm going to clean it up. I'm not going to leave, for example, chaga all over the carpet because it's very likely to stain it. So 
So just have another minute of silence. Just be with whatever you're doing. If you're listening passively to this or if you're drinking tea, then get really present with whatever it is. Be really present with whatever it is. It's easy to fall out of patterns and these healthy habits, whatever they are. I find it the, the opposite. I find, particularly with training and exercise, it's, it's harder for me not to do movement or some sort of exercise or something outside than it is to actually do it. In that, like, I, I, there's like a new default that's been created in this physical and the, the emotional benefits as well, but let's go with the physical for now. And it's just something that happens now. I either go biking or skating or the gym or whatever, like a little home workout in the morning if I know that I'm not going to be able to do one of those specific activities. And then similarly with this, again, just to reiterate, like these, even if it's a minute, two minutes, this, this lovely little moment where you're here you recalibrate the mind wanders you bring it back here we are drinking tea you may be you may drive somewhere and then you've got a few minutes before whatever whatever it is you're about to do and you can you can just sit training recalibrating the brain the mind wanders you bring it back and that supports everything it supports those things that are going to happen that you don't know are coming. It's how life is, right? We're living, we're doing, we're being, we're experiencing, and then suddenly there's a challenge. And my good friend John and I came up with this saying when we lived in London many years ago. Uh, he may have come up with it, I don't know. But this is what we used to say, is when if something came up, it was, whatever's in the way is the way. And we maybe didn't even come up with it either. Maybe <laughs> we were exposed to it. Whatever's in the way is the way. And so we're doing whatever we're doing and then suddenly someone dies or suddenly there's a pandemic or suddenly, uh, let's flip it on the other way, something great happens, a baby is born or a new business venture arises, whatever it might be. And, and you can almost hear with the way I kind of flippantly go through those things without a change in my tone of death, birth, success, pain, whatever they are, just allowing them to happen. Because they're going to happen. And as we can recalibrate this, like that lovely little metaphor, the monkey mind, as we can recalibrate that and bring it back, something happens, we're going to have a reaction to it, it's going to happen. How useful are we going to be in that moment to ourselves? Are we going to break down and just lose complete control of existence and experience and become a, a mess on the floor? Maybe. Like, I don't know. What I do know is that as we, as we bring ourselves to the present moment, bring ourselves to the present moment, have chaos happening somewhere and then be able to maintain some, some sense of balance some sense of equilibrium 
it's going to be a more favorable service to ourselves and to others. And again, if you've seen these videos, it's, 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 I'll say this a lot, it's not to deny the human emotion of it. Of course we're going to have the human emotion and the experience, whatever that is. But with a sloppy mind, those emotions can ruin us. They can literally just floor the person rather than experience the emotion as it happens as we as uh, as we're here to experience right and the reason i'm going into this is again just in the last 48 hours i've had a few messages and calls with people where I'm like oh okay something's going on you know at least for those people and then i thought maybe you might like this extra moment so just feel the cup bowl or whatever it is notice the tastes in the mouth the textures the different parts of the tongue that light up with the flavors you may notice that some parts of the mouth they don't receive any of the flavors and then you might like to just go a little deeper into the body into the physical body and notice where you feel any sensation, maybe you feel tension, maybe you feel ease, maybe you feel loving warm feelings in the solar plexus, whatever it is just observing those sensations as they arise. It's incredible that, oh, I just love that word. It's incredible, it's credible that this, this physical being completely and utterly connected to the thoughts that we think. <laughs> the thoughts uh, are almost like, let's go with the conductor. It's actually one of the lines in the book. And that a thought about an experience can invoke one chemical balance within the body and another thought can invoke a different chemical balance within the body. Literally, we can be sat on a chair nothing in our physical awareness with our eyes and ears and smell has changed we can think something about something and invoke a chemical change within the body if you think about someone you love someone you care for, someone that's in your life already, or someone that's coming into your life that you don't even know. You can just lean your thoughts towards that appreciation for the person that's already in your life. And as you really allow your thoughts to focus on an appreciation for those people, Whatever it might be, you may, you can get to a point where your body starts to feel those sensations of love and connectedness and calmness and appreciation, whatever they, those words are that describe that physical sensation that you can just sit there and think and feel.
then you may like to be able to notice those sensations throughout the physical body as you do that. That person might be alive, they may have passed, or they may be coming into your life at some point. For whatever reason, you're able to think thoughts about that person, those people. And in this moment, without any change in the environment in front of you, around you, feel those sensations throughout your body. One area to pay close attention if you're trying this or when you try it, is the solar plexus and heart area, just around here. Also the spine, cheeks, back of the head, back of the shoulders. And squeezing that muscle that you stop yourself from weeing with or and then squeezing it, you can move the energy up the spine. You can literally move chemicals around the body that your body produces. <laughs> so wherever you're at, Whatever you're going through, little moments of tea or chocolate, or just stillness without anything, you can, you can just give yourself a moment, yes, the activity, yes, the exercise, yeah, getting things done, and also remembering, and again, I'm, I'm just well just just know that just even a minute of of stillness of mindfulness whatever you want to call it turn off your phone shut the computer walk away from everybody for a second sit in your car give yourself a moment just to defrag like recalibrate if you haven't got tea, then the easy one is just to focus your attention on the nose, just breathe through the nostrils. You follow the breath in. And you follow the breath out. And the mind may wander. And if the mind wanders, which it almost certainly does, all you have to do is bring your attention back to the breath and you, you calm the system. You may be in the sympathetic part of the nervous system and all jacked up about something. But just those few moments of just following the breath in, following the breath out is helping reset that chemical balance. That saying, that Facebook share post that says, focus on gratitude, focus on something you're grateful for. Well, what is that? Like you, we can read the words like, just sit there now and think of someone you love. Think of a person that you appreciate. And if you hate them in the moment, then think of one thing that you love about them. Just it shifts instantly. You, you literally change the chemicals that are being produced or moved around your body. And then you can even move those chemicals further up into the brain, into the head. All right, there's going to be another one of these really soon. Have a beautiful day, whatever you're doing. Um, find yourself a moment later again. Call a friend. People are going through some stuff, apparently, at the minute. So just, even if it's, hey, how you doing? You good? Like, the worst case scenario in that is they go, yeah, I'm fine, mate, whatever. And then you get to feel the great feeling of caring for your buddy. Morning, Bainesy. Have a beautiful day, mate. Thank you.
Oh yes, yeah, Sally, silence is very telling. Can be super comfortable or awkward, yeah. It can. A great one in, in silence is, if there is a feeling, hi Svetlana, if there is a feeling of awkwardness in a silent moment, and I'll feel them, what I like to do is just to go, oh yeah, just acknowledge it. And then like within seconds it can pass. Coco Caravan, hola senor, Brett, all right mate, Vicky, Dawn, yes. Bueno, buen día, ciao.